All loaded up and ready to go. So what's your plan today, man? We're going paddle boarding. Oh yeah, it's a good day for that. <laughs> it's a little warm today. It's a beautiful summer day in Pennsylvania. Yeah. We got some inflatable stand-up paddle boards and we thought, hey, we can pack these on the bike. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm always a water girl, no matter what. <laughs> I like my water. So this is kind of a way to combine the best of both worlds for me. Of course, we met over water fun, so kayaking. Can't quite get the kayaks to work for a bike, so you know. We could get those Oru folding kayaks. I think these paddle boards are gonna work just fine for us. Just having fun, staying cool on a hot day. Of course, we have nice green woods to ride through to get there. Yeah, we're taking the shady route on purpose. The beautiful route. The lush Pennsylvania route. All the green. Hope you're having a good summer. We seem to be. It's been busy. But time to have a little fun mixing it up a bit more. through the fun sides of the park a couple of the fun sides there's a lot of little fun roads in and around through oil creek state park that we enjoy so we're going to go on to power number five number five power number five power okay they don't know what that is anyways or as the kids in the hood call it num five pow <laughs> you think maybe not yeah. <laughs> not in this hood out here num five pow. <laughs> not that out here of course they don't know what any of that means you could explain it during the oil boom days when they were drilling all over the place for oil they had multiple wells that needed to be powered and they needed um they needed power to run the the pump jacks that were pumping the oil out of the ground and they figured out a pretty ingenious way to do it by using one engine for as many as as many as uh a dozen different wells at one time there we go. and buildings like that were used to house all the equipment with the engines and everything and the engines ran on gasoline, natural gas, diesel, they could run on just about whatever kind of fuel was available and sometimes they could run off the byproduct of the well that they were pumping so they were kind of self-sufficient and they would just sit there and run 24-7. And they had big belt drives that would run multiple units. It was pretty cool. So they called them uh, power stations, power, power houses, and they often numbered them if they had multiple ones, if it was a pretty big oil lease, and that was number five. Power number five, number five power road. <laughs> and the road became, yeah, yeah. number five power. <laughs> Skin, sleep 
we are at Two Mile Run County Park. about the boards for anybody who's interested these are a brand called uh, Dama 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 I don't know D-A-M-A <laughs> is yeah. what it is and I, I was familiar with the brand so I thought I would try something different than what the, the boards that we got the girls which I also recommend but yeah, they're good. but um, these ones uh, have camera mounts built into them which I'm using on my board and that was one of the reasons I went with this brand. Although hers was supposed to have a camera mount and it does not. So we have a bone to pick with Dama. Otherwise, they they met our expectations. They're inexpensive. They're very entry level price. That's great price. They're, they're running, they, these boards average somewhere around 200 to $250 for the different models. And they seem to be a quality build. I think that, uh, most of these boards are built in some factory in China anyway, but it is what it is. If it gets us where we want to go. It gets us on the water. And yeah. I think uh, just a few years ago, prices were about double what they are now, so it's a good time to get one if you're thinking about it. And just, a little you, head I, I don't think I don't think you really can go wrong if you stick with something that has good reviews. And if you're on Amazon, you can look at the reviews. But we're happy with them overall, and they pack on the bikes and that get us on the water. Neat. So you can see we we uh, added our second blade to our paddles so we can sit down and paddle them like a kayak. Part of the reason for doing that, I mean, it might be you got tired of standing up, but the other reason would be if it gets windy and you and you want to make a little more headway into the wind. A little less wind resistance. Be a little <laughs> more efficient cutting through it, which we're doing right now actually. We've got a little bit of a breeze. It makes it easier to get through. Of course, the paddling is more efficient.
What better way to spend a day out in the sun in the summertime? Floating along. Floating along, lounging on our paddleboards. Sunshine and shade, and all the little critters on the edges. Not ready for a nap. <laughs> we'll fall asleep out here, we just don't know where he'd end up. He'd float somewhere. We love paddling these things all around the edges of the lake and you can see all the different critters running around. You saw a big turtle and oh, I didn't see. It's like a prehistoric sized turtle. He was massive. Was he big enough to ride on? Yeah, but he had taken your leg off. It was a snapping turtle. Oh. <laughs> He's a big boy. He kind of muzzled him. He was a big boy. Probably the biggest one I've seen here ever. I've seen some big ones here. But all the fish. Lots of beaver huts. All the good stuff.